Interesting. If uh, you've been following the COVID data like we have, you'll remember that about a month ago, before Omicron really took off here in the state of Connecticut, about 79% of the people who were hospitalized with COVID were not fully vaccinated. Now that number is only about 55%. So we asked the experts why. The percentage of fully vaccinated people in the hospital with COVID is on the rise, but Hartford HealthCare cautioned it's a statistic that can be deceiving. They're not ending up in the hospital for COVID. They're in the hospital for different reasons, and we're picking up COVID. Dr. Ulysses Wu told Fox 61 they COVID test everyone who comes into the hospital. He said between 30 to 50 percent of the people who test positive for COVID were asymptomatic and came in seeking treatment for a completely different ailment. In other words, they're ending up in the hospital with COVID, not for COVID. Omicron is becoming that common cold, more mild-like illness where people may not have any symptoms at all and that we're just picking it up. Connecticut Department of Health Commissioner Dr. Manisha Juthani said it's a numbers game. The more infectious nature of Omicron coupled with a still relatively low uptake of booster shots and waning immunity in vulnerable populations all contributes to more breakthrough cases. If you look at people who are in the hospital who are vaccinated, many of them are our immunocompromised and oldest patients. So we know that in general, their response to vaccines is going to be lower. What it doesn't mean is the vaccines have stopped working. It just means that instead of vaccines being able to eradicate this virus. And I think we would have hoped that we could just go back to life before this virus was in our society. Vaccines will likely just be a tool used to help us live with it. I think what is very clear is this virus is not going anywhere. It is here to stay, and that's really what an endemic means. And as this virus continues to evolve, it also continues to mutate. So coming up on the news at five, what we've discovered about a new COVID variant that was detected here in Connecticut. What do we know about it? What do we still need to learn? And could it potentially lead to yet another COVID surge?